Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. By popular demand, I decided to do another round of 10 out of 10 fragrances. You guys really liked it and you asked me if I can do a part two. And of course, I have so much more. And I'm like, you know what? Let me get this done because I have so much 10 out of 10 fragrances in my opinion that I want to share with you. So if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And please give me a thumbs up. That way the algorithm knows that you like my content and pushes my video out. And without further ado, let's get into this. So I've had this one quite some time now in my collection and I love it so much, but I don't know why I don't wear it some more. <laughs> Guys, and to me, this is a classic. This is Halfati. And this is the original Halfati. Now there's a Halfati leather and Halfati cedar, which I own as well. But the original Halfati smells incredible. This is warm, it's spicy, it's very woody. There's some oud in this, there's a little bit of leather in this. This is spicy. Guys, this fragrance smells rich. It is opulent. It has that Middle Eastern vibe without being too heavy on the oud. There's, I don't think there's any rose in this. Yeah, I think there's rose in this as well. There's some saffron, which is so sexy in this, but it's a very woody scent. Guys, I absolutely love this, and I've owned quite a few of uh, Penhaligon fragrances, and this one to me is a 10 out of 10. If you guys have sampled this, let me know. Oh, before we move on, drop me your scent of the day. Today, I am wearing this baby right here, Hal Fatty and I smell incredible because this is nice for the winter time and it's extremely cold here in Canada. So this one, I am smelling so good. I feel like I'm smelling so good that I need to go out, but I'm here recording for you guys. Anyway, let's move on. This other one was love at first sniff and this is Incense Suave from Mathieu Premier. Guys, if you're my OG, you know how much I love this fragrance. This you only need just a little because it is so strong. Guys, I love this, but you have to love incense. But I think even if you don't, you would love this because it's not too heavy on the incense. There's some coffee, there's incense, there's, to me it's heavy on the vanilla. There's benzoin as well, and there's labdanum. This smells like a warm, smoky, fluffy cloud of goodness. This is so incredible. Guys, do not be fooled by the notes thinking it's a heavy fragrance. It's just a beautiful fluff, a beautiful cloudiness of this delicious vanilla hit with some smoky incense and it is incredible. Oh my God, every time I pull this, I'm like, why am I not wearing you? Guys, as fragrance reviewers, we test so much stuff that Sometimes we're just spending most of the time testing stuff instead of wearing what we have because we always want the next thing and that's a bad, bad habit. But yeah, Incense Suave, absolutely insane. Now, I saw they came out with a vanilla, something vanilla, what is it called? I can't remember, but it's a new one. I want to get my nose on that so bad. This house have some bangers and I really enjoy it. I have something else from them as well, but Incense Suave to me, 10 out of 10, no questions asked other fragrance was a blind buy about three years ago I bought this yeah probably three two but it's a while it was a blind buy and I was so scared because the name was like oh my god this is gonna be one skanky leather it's gonna be strong it's gonna be masculine but I took the plunge and I bought it guys this is from Memo Paris and this is African leather this is nothing like what you might think it would be this is so incredible Incredible. It's such a, oh my goodness, it's such a beautiful scent. I haven't smelled this in a hot minute. Mm. Guys, it's not heavy on the leather at all. I mean, yes, it has leather, but it's nothing to throw you off. There's cardamom in this, there's leather, there's some saffron, there's cumarin, which I don't pick up, which is good. There's vetiver, patchouli, agarwood, bergamot, musk. Guys, this is incredible incredible the way this is blended the way this smells do not let the name throw you off this is one sexy sexy fragrance perfect for the winter it is just ah oh, i can't describe it totally unisex don't think it's masculine at all the leather is there but these memo paris dear leathers are blended so beautifully it's so smooth it's not harsh at all 
this has no harsh edges it's just incredible so this is african leather and to me this is a 10 out of 10. i have probably like 20 fragrances from this house by now and this is from the house of uh Zerzhov. it is naxos i don't know what you guys might think but in my opinion this is 10 out of 10. this fragrance is insanely beautiful totally unisex you might think this is for the males but ladies trust me when i tell you it works for everyone it is absolutely delicious it's honey there's some lavender in this oh my god this leaves the most intoxicating central everybody would smell you every time i wear this fragrance somebody asks me what i'm wearing this is heavy on the cinnamon as well guys there's tobacco there's vanilla there's some tonka bean listen this to me is a masterpiece this is sexy both on men and in, on women because when i wear this girl i'm feeling myself okay i am feeling myself this is really oh my god the lavender in this just hits just right because sometimes lavender and fragrances i don't like it it's too aromatic but this with the right amount of honey with the right amount of cinnamon with the right amount of woodiness this is insane it is sexy it leaves an intoxicating central and trust me people are going to ask you what are you wearing you smell incredible and that is naxos my 10 out of 10 fragrance now you might have seen my other video i have spoken some from this house so we're not talking the best of from the house we're talking about fragrances that might be within the house that i think is 10 out of 10 and some houses have more than one bangers what can i say fragrance captured my heart from the first time i sampled this and i had to purchase a bottle and this is from stefan hambert lucas and this is solide jada mango kiss i am a mango lover and this thing is a beast and it's not just mango oh the way this is blended and this is not linear at all. Like when I spray it, it changes in the dry down. It smells incredible. Well, another long lasting fragrance, Beast actually. You don't need too much of this, but this is your tropical dream. You can even wear this in the winter because it has that, you know, that oomph to it. There's uh, mango, orange blossom, just coconut, ylang ylang, vanilla, benzoin. Guys, there's so much notes, but it is so, so beautiful. Oh, I have raved about this so much and to me from the house now I love God of Fire I almost say God of War God of Fire I love the ones that I have but this one here to me is 10 out of 10 moving on some of these might be recent purchases that I think are like damn this is good and this is from Tra um, Argos are you surprised you know that Triumph of Bacchus is 12 out of 10 but this new release here oh my god guys this fragrance captured my heart and i have to say this as well is a 10 out of 10 for me this fragrance is absolutely intoxicating this is another one when you take the cap off and you sniff it you're like wow every time i smell this i remember my birthday guys this has such a bright citrusy opening there's some, some, also some pink pepper and some cardamom. In the mid, there's lab, lavender. There's some labdanum. The lavender gives it a very slight aromatic vibe. It's not too heavy on the lavender. Oh my God, my paper. I don't want to waste them. Mm. Guys, oh my goodness. There's some musk. There's some leather, but it's not heavy. There's tonka bean and vanilla. Guys, this, please sample this if you can. They, Argos sells samples. Uh, you can use my discount code. I think it's Spicy10 or Nisha10. It will be in the description. I have a 10% discount code for Argos. Guys, trust me when I tell you, you'll be ordering this fragrance. Absolutely divine. So rich, so elegant, so opulent. This is a class act right here. And to me, definitely a 10 out of 10 beautiful beautiful so this is fall of eaton from argos fragrances not too long a few months ago made it to my collection and to me from the entire house there's one more that i think it's excellent but this right here takes the cake and this is sugar leather from unnuit nomad this to me is definitely a 10 out of 10 
oh my god i haven't really worn this bottle too much because i have a 10 ml decan that i'm working through guys this is cinnamon it's warm spicy it's delicious it smells like a dessert it's perfect perfect for the cold weather that delicious gourmand without being foodie guys delectable listen you wear this somebody is going to ask you what are you wearing because when i wear this i get so much compliments it's such a long lasting fragrance but it's so comforting and cozy as well the notes for this um oh there's caramel uh cinnamon leather labdanum and amber guys this is divine i also have a discount code for this so you can use my discount code to get this but this is not very expensive at all and the price you pay for this you're getting more than your money's worth so this is sugar leather from un nuit nomad oh my god it's so so good the one was love at first sniff now a lot of you don't like it you say it's masculine or whatever but in my opinion suspiro vibrato 10 out of 10. no questions asked this is such a beautiful bright citrusy fragrance it is absolutely beautiful it's green it's citrus oh my goodness how could you not like this seriously how could you not this lasts so long it lasts extremely long and it gives out the most beautiful central it's such a beast of a fragrance as well i think it's incredible not everybody have their opinion and their taste but for me this here is a banger this has a very bright opening as i said very citrusy opening there's ginger there's some green nuance there's some powdery notes musk cedar patchouli light but to me what stands out the most is the citruses a little bit of woody nuance with a little bit of greenness this is chef's kiss i love it i love it i love it so get your nose on this now this is quite pricey so sample first but vibrato by suspiro 10 out of 10 easily next up hmm which one should i choose guys guys I have loved this from the day I sampled this. Now you might say my bottle is full because I had a decant and this thing you just need a couple of sprays because you're going to kill somebody. This is Hibiscus Mahajar. You will get compliments. You'll be chased down. People are going to want to know what are you wearing. This here is beautiful. Such a stunning scent. Oh my god guys get your nose on this now. Do not blind buy this you may not like it it's not everybody's taste but for me from that house this is definitely a 10 out of 10. now oh you could say this is tropical but i think it's so strong this would be incredible in the cold i haven't really worn it in the cold but i'm thinking hey maybe i should guys this is such a beast now i see they have oud maracuja i think it's called i want to try it so bad but the place here in Canada that sells samples, they're all sold out. So I have to wait on a sample. But I really, really want to try it, guys. Hibiscus Mahajat, 10 out of 10 in scent profile, in performance, in longevity, everything. 10 out of 10. So this is Hibiscus Mahajat. This is another one that was love at first sniff. And this is a, this is a summer scent. And this is Tales from Zanzibar. Oh my God. Mmm this is fruity it's citrusy it's a little green that mango in this oh my god let me see what the notes are did we even have mango i smell mango though why do i get mango does it have mango they said lime blood orange mint pink pepper there's guava yeah i get that cassis coconut candied fruits ambergris musk moss and agarwood but i could swear this has mango probably it's the guava mixed with that coconut and the candied fruit i don't know but this smells like it has mango if you guys have this tell me if i'm crazy tell me if i'm crazy this is another stellar one from the house to me i love the other one troubling pa paradise i think the other one is but this one right here is definitely a 10 out of 10 and the performance on this is insane but this is your beautiful spring summer scent and i absolutely love it which one should i choose next now this one i i literally got this christmas eve and it already made this list so can you imagine guys this is from emmy clef and this is pure nectar extreme this i spoke about this oh, last week this is such a girly pretty girl scent it reminds me of chloe 
It is so dainty and pretty and girly and feminine and all of the above. If you want to be that girly girl, definitely check this out. This one only comes in the small size, but I wish it had 100 ml because I think I wouldn't really wear this now because to me it's a spring summer scent, but I would definitely be rocking this in the the spring summer because it's so pretty guys it is so pretty there there's nobody i think that's not gonna like this it is absolutely gorgeous and i literally got this christmas eve and it's already made this list okay it already did the last one is this viral fragrance this tiktok viral thing but i had it for a while now and this is bianco latte yes 10 out of 10 in sweetness in performance in sillage in compliments bianco latte is that girl definitely 10 out of 10. now i bought celeste as well and i'm still playing with that because i'm not sure i just don't know i'm just not sure about it so yeah so this one is bianco latte definitely 10 out of 10. guys this people are going crazy for this because it's so sweet it's so caramel it's just that scent profile that people love it's very crowd pleasing. Now it's nothing wow and, and groundbreaking and be like, oh, so complex. No, it's very simple, but everybody loves this fragrance. So yeah, this is Bianco Latte from that name that I can't pronounce. <laughs> so I think I did enough because I think I did more than 10 and yeah. To me, I have a lot of 10 out of 10s because if I don't like you, you're not going to be in my collection. You might be there for a little bit, but eventually I'll be like, you got to go because I ain't got space for you. And yeah, so these are my free. Oh, I forgot one. Hold up, hold up. My K Ali. Guys, did I talk about this one? This is sweet diamond pink pepper. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. This is your sweet decadent rose this is syrupy it smells like it has ooh but they say they ain't put none but i think they got some oh this is a compliment getter it's feminine it's strong it's uh. so this is sweet diamond pink pepper i'm not going to go too much into it because you hear it so much from me already i don't think you want to hear it again <laughs> but yeah i love it so yeah so thank you so much for watching and on your way out hit that thumbs up button as i said and yeah until next video be safe be kind and smell fabulous. Bye now.